Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, The Funky Pickle Thrifter. My name is Sandra, so glad that you're joining me today. We're gonna have a lot of fun looking at some really beautiful pieces of jewelry that I got. I bought about five or 600 pieces of jewelry from a woman who used to own a jewelry store that she no longer has and she wasn't interested in the jewelry anymore. So that's what we're gonna be having a look at today. This has been a pretty long series and it's still going. I don't know how many more episodes we're gonna have. Thank you so much for coming. Please hit the subscribe button, it would really help the channel channel out so much and it's free for you to do. So let's start out with this beautiful brooch. Check this out. Look at those beautiful roses that are on those stones right there. A few different shapes of stones. This is beautiful. Look at those gold leaves. Not marked, but this is a very beautiful and very much a quality piece of jewelry. I love this one. So next up, I chose this amazing wishbone with the lucky four-leaf clover. So guilloche is where there's enameling, but it's actually kind of like translucent enameling. And then there's a, like a kind of etched in design that's actually done on a machine underneath it. Isn't that really pretty? I love that. And this item also came with these two earrings, two little screw back earrings, not signed. This is a truly wonderful set. Well, I'm not sure how vintage this cuff bracelet is, but it sure is beautiful. This is just a great bracelet. It's so striking, very bright colors. This is a, a great item. I try to buy Egyptian jewelry when I find it. There's a really strong market for it. It's an awesome scarab. I just love these colors. I love the red and the two shades of blue. That's a beautiful item right there. So I got this really nice bangle. You can tell this is sterling, I'm sure. It is marked, we'll take a look at it. So it is marked PSCL and that stands for Peter Stone. So he's been a jewelry designer. Um, he's had his company since the 1990s, the mid 90s. And this is beautiful. I don't know if that's supposed to look like ocean waves. I just love it though. This is clearly sterling. This is a great little bangle, isn't it? I love this. It almost has a Celtic feel to it, I think. Very nice, very, very nice item. Here's a beautiful sterling silver Celtic brooch. So this style is called penannular, which means it is an incomplete ring. It has its roots, I think, in medieval times and medieval designs. Great little item. It is marked 925. Yeah, there it is. It's upside down, but you can probably see it right there. That's a really cute little item. I think this one is really going to be loved by somebody. I'm definitely going to sell this one. I think it's really cute. Here's a great mid-century brooch. This one has a real mod look to it, right? And it's nice and high. Look at that. I think this is super cool. It has faux pearls and those white rhinestones, and it's really deep. I don't think that's marked, is it? Is that a marking? Hold on. Yeah, okay, that's not marking. That's just sort of where the gold tone is kind of getting funky. Very cool item. I love this one. Isn't that great? Here's some odd little earrings. These are called wingbacks, and it is actually marked right there, wingback, and is as typical with these. They have a patent mark right there. And these were originally designed by Judith McCann in the 40s. These are not from the 40s, and we know that because these are Aurora Borealis. These are pretty interesting. It's for people who didn't want to wear clip-ons. Uh, this part go actually goes in your ear. Kind of neat. I actually tried these on. They're not that uncomfortable, actually. Kind of cool items. I love uh, I love blue crystals. Speaking of blue crystals, I also picked up this beautiful necklace. How pretty is this? This has got to be straight out of the 50s, right? Beautiful item. There's the old catch there. And you may notice these crystals are on chain. 
That can be a sign of a better piece instead of just being on thread. They are on a chain underneath. This is a really beautiful shade of blue. It's not very long. That's a very, very pretty necklace, isn't it? I was thinking I would probably be able to sell this saxophone brooch. This is actually really nicely made. Nice rhinestones. This is a more modern brooch. Still very cute though. So here's an antique brooch. You know, I'm all about pieces like this. And there is a piece of glass back here. I don't know what was supposed to be in there. I don't know if that could hold hair or dried flower, maybe a picture. I'm not sure. This is even possibly a mourning piece. This is clearly sterling and this is clearly antique. Very nice. There's the old C clasp right there. And that's called a tube hinge or a T bar hinge. It's thick. Now, usually the maker of the piece would also make that hinge. It's sort of in three pieces. It has this piece, this piece, and then that middle piece. That's, of course, called the pin. We knew that. I think this is really stunning. I just love this. Beautiful, beautiful antique. So here's a little Nolan Miller pin. I love Nolan Miller stuff. He sold a lot of his stuff on QVC, but he very famously designed for some TV shows in the 70s and 80s, including Dynasty, uh, Charlie's Angels, Love Boat, Fantasy Island. So I love my Nolan Miller. I think this is a really pretty flower. This is probably from the 1990s, maybe the 2000 zeros even but I really do love it. Look at all that nice thick enameling, beautiful shiny rhinestones. You can never go wrong with a flower brooch. Love it. So here's a little brooch you don't see every day. This is very sweet and it is signed Sterling Les Bernard. So Les Bernard started out as Vogue in the 30s, but they became the Les Bernard Company in 1963. Interestingly, he also designed for the TV show Dynasty. Uh, they closed in the mid 90s. And I think this piece, it kind of looks like it's from the late 60s or early 70s to me. And you can see it is sterling and it has the gold on top, which is called Vermeer. This is a designer you don't really see all the time. And there is a very strong collector's market for this name. So I have a couple of Napier items. This is, you know, a way newer item. Uh, they began as EA Bliss in the 1870s. They were based in Massachusetts. And uh, then they moved to Meriden, Connecticut. I believe in the 1800s, they started out as a watch chain business. But these are kind of cool earrings, I think. I believe they closed in the late 90s. It's kind of some cool pierced earrings right there. And here's another Napier item. I think I actually have the same brooch, so this is a double. It kind of has a Christmas feel to it. I'm thinking this is a Christmas bell, right? It's kind of cute. That faux pearl moves around a bit. I do love this one. Napier is another one. It's a nice, strong collector's market. People love buying Napier jewelry. It's a great name brand to always keep your eyes open for, for sure. So this isn't jewelry, obviously, but look at this cute little thing. A little mesh. Here's a great example of guilloche enameling. That's machine turned, and then this translucent uh, enameling is put on top. Enameling is like powdered glass. They put it on here and they fire it. This also has a beautifully uh, hand-painted rose on it. So I think this is a powder compact. Let me open it. Look at that, still has some powder in there. Ooh, yikes, that's gonna make a mess. Little mirror. That's a very cute little item, isn't it? I love that. There's a collector's market for this type of stuff too. There is some, um, you know, like you need to reattach these hooks to that thing. You know, that's the sort of stuff that I don't know how to do. So I'll probably just sell this one as is and whoever gets it can deal with that. I can't, yeah. <laughs> I don't have the patience. Well, I have no idea why I love this so much, but I really do. This is like one of those hard case travel bags that you would take on a train or on a plane with you. 
back in the day. I think this has some very nice age to it. Now, I don't know if that's the original pin, and I'll show you what I mean. It looks like a little bit a little bit replacement-y. It's not even the same color, so I'm not sure. And that's likely where the maker's mark would be. This happens to be marked Czechoslovakia, but I don't think that belongs with it. And this is some, uh, this is just a glazed ceramic, I think. This is a beautiful piece. I think it's really quirky and very cool. I just love this. I've never seen anything like it. I couldn't find any comps for this. Very cool little brooch, I think, though. Here's a great 1980s Monet set. Here's the necklace. This is pretty amazing. There's the signature right there. That's really great. Black, red, and white, and gold, right? Cool necklace. And I also have the matching earrings, so how cool are these? These are great. What a great set. Very fun 1980s Monet. So speaking of Monet, here is Monet also, but it does say Monocraft on it, and that's what they were called before they were called Monet. But I think they did have both names running at the same time. Monocraft, of course, was known for its monograms. That seems unusual, right? M-E-M. -E hmm, I wonder what this person's name was. Very cool thing. This was a huge trend in the 30s, this monogram jewelry. Uh, but, you know, it stayed in style. I think people still wear it, right? Occasionally. Neat item. Well, I got, I picked this little ring out because I could tell it was sterling, that's for sure. And I thought that it was interesting. Some little pyrites or marcasites here. And I guess that's probably just some sort of faceted glass. It's marked TH 925. It's in there somewhere. There it is. I think that's actually a really interesting and cool little ring. I like that one. So here's sort of a weird bracelet. I'm guessing this is horn and bone. Kind of an interesting bangle bracelet, right? Looks like it's old. Not ivory. When you see those black specks, that means it is not uh, ivory because that's where blood vessels were. Kind of like the mod design on it. Here's a great pair of unmarked earrings. I think these are really sort of A-list earrings. They're in beautiful condition. And I think they're really classic. Look at that. I love these. These are probably from the 50s, I would guess. Maybe newer. Beautiful earrings, though. So here's a really pretty pair of rhinestone earrings. And so what I like about these is these are ear climbers. So there's a left and a right. So you could see this would go up and around your ear, and then these would all dangle down. These are nice and long. Aren't these different? I've never seen any earrings like this before. And I have a whole drawer full of clear rhinestone jewelry. I have a lot of, a lot of it. Very interesting earrings, I love these. Here's a cute little Scotty Dog pin. I love this. This is just cheap plastic made in Great Britain. I don't know how old this is, maybe 60s, 70s, 80s, somewhere in there. Here's a beautiful necklace. Look at this. This is just a spring ring closure here that looks like it's brass. This is beautiful. This is plastic, believe it or not, which makes it light and comfortable. Very pretty necklace. I think this would be really beautiful on black, that's for sure. I love that one. Here's another blingy brooch. This one's really pretty too with the blue. See now some of this paint is sort of scraping off these fake pearls here. These feel like these are plastic pearls. Sometimes fake pearls are glass with the coating, but these are just plastic with the coating. I don't know if there's really any way to repair that. I think it's kind of noticeable too. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this one, but I don't know. Maybe you could get away with it. Here's an antique necklace. This is really old. This is possibly Victorian. There is no catch on this. It's very pretty. That's likely brass, but I love these little seed pearls. And here's the pendant part. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love this. Now, there are a couple issues here. 
some missing a missing pearl there there and there and needs to be cleaned up and then this onyx part has a little bit of chipping but um maybe you can get a better view of it like this that's pretty stunning i think i love really old pieces like this i just love them this is a very sweet brooch too it's marked giovanni so not super old but i love this shape this is a fleur de lis of course and yeah what a beautiful design this is i love the lines in it it's really uh, catches the light wonderfully in great condition too wonderful item here's a pair of stunning clip-on earrings these are nice and light and they are marked patent pending that's all very nice pretty shade of blue right great faceting on those plastic plastic centers there these are in nice condition here's an interesting necklace I think I love this look at those blue stones that's beautiful how much money did she want for it I didn't pay any of these prices but 20 okay yeah not signed but I think this would be very pretty on I love this one what do you think beautiful right look at how nicely made this is there's something about it that just looks really beautiful I think and it is a napier yeah good stuff love that so here's a great pair of earrings and they are clearly marked castle cliff the company was new york city based and they ran from the 40s to the mid 70s they were all about color they had a great uh, tagline it was the talked about jewelry that was their tagline these are kind of cool unfortunately it's got a little bit of chipping right there on the side if i had seen that i probably wouldn't have picked them up but i didn't see it but you wouldn't really notice it it almost looks like candy right Let me try to get a close-up here Isn't that cool very very interesting earrings there's a great collector's market for castle cliff people really love buying this name brand and you can see why it's sort of different right that doesn't look like every other run-of-the-mill piece of jewelry that's for sure kind of creative i think Here's a great little piece of milk glass jewelry. I guess this is supposed to be a horseshoe. So I have to be careful not to hold it upside down because I think the luck runs out. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hold it like this. That's actually really cute. It's little, not marked by anybody, but I thought that was really adorable. Here are some stunning earrings. How do you think these would look with a black turtleneck, right? These are just so elegant. They're in a very nice shape. Maybe a little bit of moisture got under there, right? It's really slight. You wouldn't really be able to see from a distance. Really cool and glitzy rhinestone earrings. What do you think about these guys? These are pretty good pierced earrings, right? So there's some nice enameling in there. Nice and colorful. I love the faces and the fact that they're pink. Pretty cool. So these are signed alpaca. So when you see something that says alpaca, uh, it is not silver. So that's what we always remember about alpaca. Not that you don't like it. People do collect alpaca, believe it or not. But it's just not real silver is all. And these are, I thought, really um, unusual, unusual earrings to say the least. Here's a great old pin that's either from the 30s or 40s, I would guess. I love that red stone. And you know, I actually really like this wear. I think it adds charm and it definitely proves that it's old. I like this. Kind of, you know, just it's been, it's been worn and enjoyed by somebody, which is what I really like about it. Nice 3D pin. 
So here's a cool glass necklace, and this looks like it's from the 60s, maybe the early 70s, and this is Marvella, as you can see, but I'm not sure it's Marvella. You know, sometimes these tags do just get put on. I've actually seen it happen before. So um, if, if I was gonna sell this, I'd really have to try to make sure that I could find another one like it, um, or I'd look for some and I would just try to verify uh, that it is in fact Marvella, but this has an interesting catch. It's like an invisible catch. See that? Kind of cool, right? Marvella was a company based in Philly and they started in 1911 and they were bought by Trafari in 1982, so they are no longer in existence, but I like Marvella jewelry. I have a bunch of it. Look at this very pretty swan very very light pink rhinestones how pretty i love that oh i love bird jewelry i want to do a show on my bird jewelry collection i have some beautiful things but i'm gonna add this little guy in i love the story of the ugly duckling too don't you here's a little circle pin it kind of looks like those are maybe hearts going around there what do you think pretty blue stones that's a small pin, but I think it's really very pretty. So Ecclesi watches used to sell very, very well on eBay uh, years ago. I don't think uh, they sell for the kind of money they used to. I don't know why. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I know that they, um, they sold these on HSN or QVC. I'm not sure which. This is nice and heavy. This is all sterling. So um, sometimes people wonder if I polish things. Something like this I would polish, you know, because there's, it doesn't add any value. It just makes it look dirty and kind of yucky, I think. So this kind of thing I, I would polish, you know, not things where it really gives the piece character and it has age. Yeah, this I would clean up and I'll probably be, uh, be putting this up on my page too. So I always say I'm not very crafty and I'm not very clever with fixing things, but I do change a mean watch battery. I learned how to do it. I bought the kit. I have all kinds of batteries. So I love changing watch batteries. So I'm going to uh, put a nice new battery in here and put this on my page. Hopefully it will work. Ecclesi watches, a great thing to look out for. They did, they just don't have as much value as they used to, but if you can get them cheaply enough, like I got this one for a really great price, totally worth picking these up. So I have quite a lot of this uh, sort of bone china jewelry. This is by a company called Royal Adderley, and this might have, I don't know, a tiny bit of value. I might be able to sell this for 15 or $20 or something. And there's only very, very minor chipping on this that I saw, like really, really minor chipping. But that's very pretty, isn't it? How girly is that? And here's a pair. Here's a pair of my beautiful thermoset earrings that I always love. Very pretty blue color. And they are sterling, as you can see. And I have a blue necklace that I bought from her, and I wonder if they match. I'm going to put them together and see if they are actually a set. I hope so. And here's a beautiful piece of butterfly wing jewelry. This is made from a Morpho butterfly. Look at that iridescence. And then this scene is just reverse painted on this glass right here. So this one is not that old. This one's probably from the 50s or 60s. How much was she asking for this? 45, okay. Butterfly wing, yep. And yeah, that's a, on a sterling necklace. Is this sterling too? Yeah, it is, okay. I love that. I love butterfly wing jewelry. So pretty, right? Here's some great earrings. I love these. Look how nice these are. These would look really great on too. They're clip-ons. Black, black and gold, always a classic color combination, right? So right away you can tell this is quality, really nicely made. It feels really good in my hand. And it is Trafari, it's crown Trafari. You see there's a crown over that T and then there's a copyright symbol right there. So that dates this from between 55 to 69. 
and um, I seem to be getting a lot of jewelry from that era lately. I don't know why. I do have a lot of Trafari jewelry. I have a lot of older Trafari too. But you can just tell um, how nice this is. Really nice. I love the design too. Very pretty. So here's another little Scotty dog. This is cute. That's likely some sort of shell. And this is likely pretty modern too. But I thought that was cute. I like to buy dogs and cats and stuff like that. Look at these weird earrings. What are these goats, right? Are these goats or rams? No, I guess they're rams, right? What is a ram? Is a ram a male goat? What's happening? Am I losing my mind? Is it a billy goat? Look, it has a beard. Help me. What is this? I'm just not sure what they are. I know on, uh, on Discovery, I know I've seen them butt heads, like literally. Anyway, <laughs> I think these were just really weird. Very different. You can't say you see these very often. Here's another sweet little charm. Sterling silver, marcasite, and that's probably onyx, I'm thinking. That's a very cute little item. You could also wear this as a pendant, of course. Very uh, small and delicate. Here's an outstanding Art Deco pin. Look at this. Isn't she a beauty? Whoa. That's fabulous. I love this one. Now the stone does have a little bit of, well, a couple of really tiny little chips but I don't really think that would matter much. I think this is really beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I got these four really interesting items. These are all hand painted. I don't know how old these are. And it has this sort of wax seal mark on the back. Each one does. I don't know about these. Yeah, this isn't something I've ever encountered before. I don't know how old these are. I don't know if they're valuable either. I'm not sure. I have to do some more research on these, but if anybody knows, um, definitely tell me below. Kind of cool, right? I tried to do um, Google Lens on these and I just had no luck. I tried to do the front and then I also tried to do this wax seal part. And um, yeah, it didn't help. But these seem like these might be really old. I don't know. I thought they were worth picking up. The price was right and I think that they're very unusual. Here's a very, very sweet old necklace. This is likely more than 100 years old. How pretty is this? This is in beautiful condition too. This is made to look like the real thing. I bet you in its day, this really did look like platinum and diamonds. Beautiful item, right? So that's all I have for today. And I want you to stay tuned because I do have a lot more stuff coming up in the future. So please hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know what your favorite piece or pieces were. I would really love to know. Thanks everybody. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.